The importance of guardians and counseling in schools cannot be overemphasized. This is because proper counseling helps to incorporate valuable lessons in not just the academic lives of students, but also in other areas. Lagos State government has been investing in a lot in the education of children in the state to make them better individuals who will be useful to themselves, their family, and the society at large. It is therefore pertinent to organize this type of refresher workshop for schools, guidance counselors. It is against this background that a one-day in-house workshop on the relevance of career and vocational guardians for counselors in government-owned Lagos Secondary Schools was organized. The theme of this training is the relevance of career to vocational guidance to Lagos State Secondary School students. You will agree with me that the team speak to the challenges of the education system, the large army of jobless youth and its attendant social economic consequences on the society. This cause therefore is to further ingrain in you the capacity to help the young student in their choice of career stroke vocation. Facilitators took their time to train participants on the techniques and measures of providing effective career and vocational guardians for students. If you look at everything that we pass through in life, we have these segments. The training, the internship, and then the real work before we call it quits. All things being equal, the career ends in retirement. All things being equal. The vocation is a calling and a mission. When we talk about occupation, it's a state of being engaged. But the profession is much better. It is a paid occupation. It involves prolonged training and skills. And formal qualification is essential. Involvement may be protected by an organized professional body, like ASU, like ICANN, like the Bar Association, like the NUT. The three prerequisites are interest, ability, and aptitude. The question and answer segment was interactive in nature, as participants shared ideas. A student came to me, haven't seen that I wrote technical. He came back and said, his parents said he cannot go to technical. The mom came and said, why did I ask him to go to technical? Then I told her that he's always going about in the school repairing uh, sports items, all those equipments are no more in use. And then the woman said, no, I don't want my son in technical. In case we have such a game, what is your advice? I think you will need a one-on-one -on -one discussion with the parents. One on one, it is possible to still, you know, with the training you have had, with the training on how to speak to a client, take the mother as the client and then watch the blinking of the eyes, watch the movement of the lips, use your own cues. The role of parents in career choice was also stressed at the workshop. The primary role of bringing up a child lies with the family. And I think parents must need to go back and address the issue of parenting. There are too many parents that are not there for their children. These children need to talk to someone at home before they go to school. And then there's no one there. And so before they now get to school, they have seen their friends who act as surrogate parents or domestic servants who act as surrogate parents and then teach them the wrong things. Other topics discussed include drug abuse among students, and how counselors can help. I'm glad that Lagos is organizing this, particularly for the counselors. And I think if we start from here, and then the counselors can take you to the schools and catch these boys young. Because today, the use of drugs is going younger. Many people at about age nine are beginning to do drugs. And if we don't begin to deal with it, we're going to create a lot of miscreants for the society. And then our future will be in jeopardy. Participants shared their views. The policy of education sees the child in totality. So when you now want to place the child into any of these departments in the senior school, you have to look at the child in totality too. Academic, aptitude, the uh, interest and the ability. One thing is for you to, to desire. 
that oh i love to do this but another thing is do you have what it takes to do it hence we need to merge what you desire and your academic um, ability and another thing is that you know our students don't know um, as many opportunities and as many careers that are out there for them from everything we have been told today i've been doing it before i am still going to do it and i'll continue to do it take it upon myself to ensure that i save as many youths as many children as possible by educating them orientating them and letting them know the dangers involved in substance abuse in all participants are urged to make good use of the knowledge acquired while also sharing with their colleagues in their various education districts